from mom and dad's house. That's Archie in the background. And I got to thinking about the story of Jacob and Esau and how Esau sold his birthright for a bowl of porridge or stew, whatever it was that Jacob was cooking. And, and how that's just a reminder to me, like I have a birthright. I've been born again into the family of God. I am a co-heir. I have a birthright and I don't want to sell my birthrights, metaphorically speaking, for anything that, that is not Christ himself. And in fact, if I'm involved, if, if I'm doing anything that's Christ and Christ alone, that is living living in my birthright. I'm reckoning on my birthright in Christ. But when I get my eyes off of Jesus and start focusing on the things of the world, um, then metaphorically, that, that's kind of like me selling my birthright. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't want to take my eyes off of Jesus. I don't want to, metaphorically speaking, sell my birthright. No, you cannot lose your salvation. This is not about losing your salvation. This is about just living in Christ, reckoning on your death with him and, and just letting the resurrected Christ live through you to do his work. That's what I'm talking about. So when I get my eyes off of Christ, it's kind of like I'm not reckoning on my birthright. And Esau certainly did not reckon on his birthright when he carelessly sold it for something temporary, something that was not eternal. Um, but again, this video was not about, you can never lose your salvation ever, ever, ever. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to use the analogy of the story of Jacob and Esau and how Esau, he sold his birthright. In other words, he did not reckon on his birthright. And I, I want to reckon on my birthright in Christ. All right, guys, be encouraged.